So this is a diagnosis question. Okay. And looking at our answer choices, we're looking at the jaw and the mouth. Okay. We have a 32-year-old woman presenting to her dentist with complaints of jaw pain, frequent headaches, especially in the morning. So probably something that's going on at night. Uh, husband reports that she grinds her teeth loudly during her sleep. On exam, the dentist noticed abnormal tooth wear and flattening of the occlusal surfaces of the molars. So that is describing bruxism. Okay, so how'd you get bruxism? So, you, you know, you, you mentioned good things, right? Um, especially yeah. in the morning. So um, you're talking about the time frame, right? Time frame is yes. super important when dealing with questions. Um, that means that you're thinking clinically, which is great. I think a lot of medical students have issues that, of remembering about time frame. So understanding that if you have more, you know, symptoms in the morning, then it probably happened throughout the night. Right. And then, of course, right, you got kind of confirmation on the next sentence, right? Grinds your teeth loudly during sleep. Um, so, you know, already that you're on the right track. And then, of course, you know, the the tooth wear flattening, meaning that, you know, likely bruxism, meaning, you know, grinding, grinding of teeth. Yes. So this one's pretty straightforward, right? Dental caries, gingivitis, peri uh, peridon uh, periodontitis, right? These are pretty specific dental terms, right? I would say that, mm -hmm. you know, unlikely that they're gonna test this in particular, right? Um, and then um, temporal mandibular joint disorder, they can test this, I've seen this before, but uh, do you know what TMJ disorder is? I have TMJ, I'm very familiar with it. Okay, so talk to me about TMJ. Yeah, so with TMJ, is a lot of clenching, whereas bruxism is the actual grinding. TMJ okay, also occurs uh, not just during sleep, but can occur throughout the day during times of stress. Okay. And so that kind of goes with the jaw pain and frequent headaches. Um, so that was still kind of on the radar, but the pain does go throughout the day. Okay. So but you're basically wearing down that joint and um, from yeah. constantly using it. And yeah. you'll get a lot of muscle tension. Sure, sure. So so I would say that between bruxism, TMJ disorder, right? You can, it's a pretty close battle here, right? 50-50 yeah. is what you guys are talking about, right? But one of the key things that um, they're talking about here is that they're really focusing on the, the, the wear and tear, right? Mm -hmm. They're also, you know, if I'm, I always do tallies, right? So the wear and tear is going to be kind of the grinding of the teeth. They also say yeah. that she grinds her teeth, right? And she does have some jaw pain, headache, like you said, especially in the morning, mm -hmm. which can be TMJ. But like you said, TMJ can can last not just within the morning, right? It's going to last throughout the day, right? And where is your pain going to be really? Can you localize pain with TMJ? It's harder to because it's, <laughs> it's going to be in that joint, but you're also going to have, you know, pain in your... Uh, temporalis in yeah. your frontalis and most of your <laughs> muscles of mastication for sure for sure yeah that well, one so you'll also during the dental exam it probably would have said something about having difficulty opening the jaw you know wide enough sure so so you're mentioning you're mentioning all good things um obviously from someone who personally has tmj so uh, this is actually part of my field so i was surprised that you're able to give me everything right but um <laughs> Yeah, for sure. One of the main things about the physical exam is you can have some point tenderness where the, the mm -hmm. joint is, but of course, right, tenderness about your temporalis, right? Um, also, yeah. kind of your masseter is going to be really sore. And sometimes, like you said, right, you can have trismus, which is have issues opening your jaw because it's just so tight um, or you've worn down that um, that joint so bad that the cartilage no longer exists. So you pretty much have arthritis of the joint, right? So they mm -hmm. can give you trismus. But yeah, um, definitely for sure. Uh, I don't think you're going to miss this topic or question anytime soon.